Alright guys, let's jump in right to where we left off. We'll start um, right here. It says, I know the intent of the game is zoo building and management, but there is, is there any intent in the future to add any other attractions to the safari and train? Nothing on the PC scale, of course, but attractions that might enhance the zoo experience while not being too much of a disruptor for the animals. Something like a jungle cruise or an underwater viewing sub station for marine life. And Bo says, uh, thanks for your question. At the moment, you are correct. We've only announced the steam train and the wildlife tour. There will definitely be a few more rides when the game launches, with their main function being transporting guests around the park and giving them an either, even better view of your animals. So I take that answer as I definitely think the, I think the, uh, the chair lifts and the gondolas are going to make a jump over. Um, I think there may even be some type of elevator, kind of like a, uh, maybe like a rotating tower. Um, I could see that happening. What else do you think might, I'm trying to think of just zoos and transportations. Um, you know, monorails are really more on the theme park side of things, I would think. Um, but who knows, maybe some type of boat, maybe some type of jungle cruise type uh, water transport. I don't know, you guys have to let me know what you think uh, when she talks about other forms of, uh, of transporting guests around the park. We'll have to, might have to give that a, give that a second little thought here of what that could be other than the train and the wildlife tour and then obviously the, uh, the chair lifts. Then of course, um, the next one is, how many animals are there all together? <laughs> this has been a big, uh, big bit of contention among the community for the last three or four months. And Bo says, hi, at the moment we can say it's many more than 50, with a load more for you to discover when the game launches. The beta next week will focus on a selection of animals. Hope you'll enjoy the game. So, you know, kind of reiterating what we said yesterday, guys. Remember, all of the animals will not be released with the beta so they're only going to give us kind of the ones they want us to mess around with and then of course the full release will come with the uh with the full launch and then uh let's see what else we have here i'm just trying to making sure i might have did a couple of those yesterday but let's just see kind of a just i, I want to kind of hit on some that i know we didn't mess with okay yeah right here from tyranno 97 said hey there and thanks a lot for doing this. Just three questions here from me. First, we saw a screenshot of a Discord conversation which was about aviary systems on Planet Zoo. Is it fake or not? Will we have birds like macaws or so in the game? I'm in love with birds. Uh, second, will there be more big reptiles like the two crocodiles in the Komodo dragon? And last but not least, will there be semi-aquatic animals like sea lions in Zoo Tycoon 2? Thanks for doing the AMA. You guys rock. And uh, Bo said, hi, Toronto. Thanks for your post. While I can't really answer any of your questions, I uh, will say that our official communication goes through the official channels, never on Discord. So if it's not posted by us, it's probably fake. Winky face, take care now. So yeah, they've really kind of they uh, they they they're dodging the anything that has to do with birds. So we don't know if that's maybe not ready yet, or if that falls kind of like maybe in the category of wanting to surprise us. Uh, just not sure, but but they definitely kind of uh, pinged back and forth anything about aviaries, birds, um, that sort of thing. So eh, you know, we we'll just kind of have to. Kind of have to wait and see. She does give us a little winky face there. So maybe, like I said, we're, that might be uh, on the level of wanting us to be surprised. Um, next up, Misty May said, future animals. Can we expect future content to be bundled into um, only expansions, such as aquatic theme expansion? Or are we going to see anything similar to Jurassic World with the low price mini packs with three dinosaurs, which in your case would be three animals. In addition to this, will the community goals we work towards unlock new animals or variants slash pattern? I'm interested in to see uh, how we get to expand our park diversity. Thank you. 
Bo said, hi, Misty May. Whilst we can't answer your question on future content, we're focusing on beta and launch. I can tell you that with the community goals, there will be unlock rewards, not new animals and patterns. More info on this later. Take care. So they, she's went on to say that as far as the community goals go, um, the, the, we won't have to reach any of those uh, to have new animals um, unlocked. And then uh, Chichel Mefford also went on to say, hey, are there going to be any DLCs, possibly expansion packs? My favorite animals are the penguins. And Bo said, thanks for your question. As you might understand, we can't, quest we can't answer your question as we are fully focused on the beta and our launch in November. I would like to say that we always love hearing from our community and we'll be monitoring feedback closely. We love the games we make and always aim to support them however we can. Then somebody asked Bo if she was from the Netherlands. She said, I am, yes. Thanks for asking. <laughs> and uh, so let's see. Let's just scroll on here. Hi, everyone. Thanks a bunch for all your good work. My question, what are the map sizes going to be? Something like Planko or even larger? And Bo said, hey, the sandbox map in Planet Zoo is the same size as Planet Coaster. Thanks for your question. And uh, yeah, guys, that, that, that I would feel pretty good about that. If you haven't played Planet Coaster, if you're new to this whole planet universe, the uh, Planet Coaster sandbox maps are absolutely huge. I think you definitely won't have a problem with uh, as far as your exhibits go and, and like really running out of space. Um, really, I think it's going to come, it's probably going to come down to more you what your computer will be able to handle um, and not so much filling up the, uh, filling up the space. Anaya16 said, oh, sorry, I have another question. Are you planning to reveal all animals before release or will there be some, will some be a surprise for you to play for the first time yourself? Bo said there will definitely be surprises upon launch. Get hyped. Um, let's see. Hey, Bo, I'm loving all the animals, especially the aged elephant. My question is, what kind of support can we expect after the release? Something closer to Planet Coaster or Jurassic World Evolution? Bo said, hi, omnivorous pecan. <laughs> you know, we love our community and we planned loads of exciting activities for beta, launch, and beyond. We care deeply about your experience and feedback, so I reckon that will drive us forward for a long time All at, for all of our games. You know, that's funny when she's like, I hear her say, I reckon... Or Sil Silver Rat says, I reckon. That just seems like not something like a proper, um, like a, like, you know, like a proper, uh, you know, European type uh, people would say. Like I see is like, well, I reckon. I see that as definitely like a Southern United States type of slang. So it's really interesting to hear not only her, but Silv and a couple other Dutch people say reckon. So I reckon that will drive us forward for a long time. Really kind of neat to see. I, I definitely thought that was like a more of a Southern United States type of uh, type of slang. I reckon. Pretty neat. Next up, Black Princess says, Hey, just wondering how many levels career mode will have. P.S. I love the snow leopards. So cute. Bo said, Hi, Black Princess 8. The career mode will have a full story to follow with lots of scenarios. We're excited to have you explore them and get gold stars upon launch. So she doesn't really touch on how many levels, uh, particularly career mode, will have. 100 Ikers says, Hi, Bo and team. Will there be collision in the game? Like animals not going through each other kind of thing. And will there also be different coats? Patterns, furs, shades to animals. So excited for this. Thank you guys for all you are doing. Our little frontier programmer nerd, Andy Chapel, jumped in and said, Hi, we have some clever tech to allow for variations in animal patterns and some color variation in fur. This is all driven by our animal genetic system and looks really cool when you have the herd with different shapes so didn't really touch on the collision part um but he did mention as far as the different variations with the patterns and uh in coloration so uh that was that on that uh next up paladini says hi guys will animals have complex social needs and problems to solve like bull elephants being kept separate from females 
and calves or zebra stallions being hyper aggressive. And you know, that's one thing too, kind of doing my research on zebras. Um, definitely are on the hyper aggressive part. Like I've watched a lot of things like, you know, we hear like when you're doing your research on, um, on like animal aggressiveness and, uh, and you know, kind of like males fighting for dominance, you hear all the time about male lions can kill off cubs. Um, that aren't theirs, you know, to kind of promote their genetics and their bloodline. But you don't hear that a lot about zebras, and that is absolutely the case. Even zebras going far is not, uh, n you know, not just like stomping out, um, you know, other calves and such from, um, you know, from that, that, that have not mated with them, but zebras will go as far to even drown smaller calves and running them off, not letting the females, um, you know, nurse them, stuff like that. So yes, zebras can absolutely be driven, um, and, and be hyper aggressive and be genetics driven. And that is something until this game came out and, you know, I've kind of started doing a little more research that, uh, yeah, I did not know, but, uh, yeah, zebras absolutely will not play. They can definitely, um, definitely you can, you can sense that level of aggressiveness on them. And, uh, so Andrew goes on to say, hi, Paladini. Yes, animals do have complex social needs to fulfill. While we don't require you to separate out calves and females from bulls, please take note, having multiple bulls in the same habitat will likely cause them to fight. You'll need to separate them or trade with uh, trade them with other players. Enrichment items alone are not going to placate an angry elephant. So that was pretty interesting as far as... Um, as far as Andy goes, um, you're not really in your best interest to have a bunch of male bull elephants kind of pinned up in the same pen. Um, you're probably going to have uh, fights. So uh, another one coming up says a memory of eternity said, hi there. Just curious, since this type of game is up my alley, are there any dev console type cheats? If so, how robust are they spawning animals in creating emergencies or would that just be sandbox mode? What I like, while I like a challenge, I love how I can just mess around if these cheats are available. Um, Andy Chapel said, hi, some cheats from Planet Coaster may make it over to Planet Zoo, especially some old favorites like Tejicam. Hi, Tejid. <laughs> we'll be looking at some more post-release, uh, adding some more post-relief. There are plenty of ideas that we're uh, interested in here. So uh, keep up with the cool suggestions from our community. So that was, uh, you know, that'll be neat too, just to kind of see what kind of, uh, you know, what kind of cheat codes they come up with on this. Let's see what else we have here. This is for Mark and Andrew. Of course, the animals we've seen so far. Um, what, let's see, what... Let's see if I'm wording this right. What are, okay, what was your favorite animal to design slash po program respectively and why? And uh, Andrew chimed in. He said, our whole team has done an amazing job making the animals in Planet Zoo feel really special. My favorite, and then parentheses he put so far, no spoilers, is the ring-tailed lemur. Seeing them climb around a climbing frame or relax arms stretched out in the sun is really cool. Kenny J 71 says, will there be any animated video billboards like the ones on Planko? Andrew says, hi, Kenny. Thanks for mentioning this. There were all, they, these were one of my favorite additions to Planet Coaster. We aren't including these for release, but your feedback is important to us and we'll keep them on our radar. So definitely we know it's something they could make happen in Planet Coaster. Um, video billboards, though, um, will not be available at launch so that was something that i used big on some of my um some of my aquarium builds to uh you know bring in the different uh different designs and stuff like that so that is a uh, kind of neat to hear um let's see another question are plans to incorporate any guest interactions feeders petting zoos etc um, Andy said, hi, we do have interactions between guests and animals. They'll stop to view them and potentially take photos of them as well. Placing your feeders near to guest viewing points will help them get a really good view of your animals, but we don't currently have any plans for petting zoos. Uh, badly behaved, this is an interesting point. 
Badly behaved guests can also throw their leftover food into habitats, which animals will eat and can potentially get sick from. So make sure you have plenty of bins and well-trained security guard on staff. So that is, uh, that is pretty neat. And then, uh, so I guess maybe the last one we'll kind of finish up with on this one. Um, like I said, there's, there's so many. We've, we're, I hate to keep, you know, drugging you guys on with this, but uh, there are a ton. And uh, the last one says, Miss Pepper Dragon said, Hello, Frontier. My question is, are you considering implementing a multiplayer? Example, manage a big zoo with two people at the same time. I'm so, I'm so excited for this game. My favorite animal is the Bengal tiger. Andrew steps in and says, Hi, Miss Pen Pepper Dragon. I love Bengal tigers too. We don't have any plans for multiplayer, but what we do have is an entirely new game mode for you all to try. Franchise mode will let you trade animals with your fellow community and work together towards improving animal welfare. And conservation efforts look out for our special community challenge during beta next week dot 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 so right from one of the lead programmers they are not considering implementing multiplayer so they don't have any plans for that right now so anyways guys yeah let me know your thoughts down below on this next set of uh of reddit ama questions and once again big thank you to joel our hero for coming in and breaking all these down in a big forum post and uh yeah so like always love to hear your guys's feedback on some of this stuff and uh just kind of what your thinking is on this and uh, don't forget to for subscribe and keep coming back and hanging out with us for all this planet zoo news and uh and interesting content so i'm Stan wolf thank you for stopping by and hanging out with us and i'll catch you in the next video thank you see you guys